it was the birth of a footballing nation. Indian football scaled new heights thanks to the inaugural Hero Indian Super League. The beautiful game captured the imagination of India. The ISL was the fillet that Indian football needed. Fans came back to stadiums and new Indian talent got a stage to shine. The ISL made a commitment of breathing new life in Indian football and it did just that. The first season may have ended but the league has kept its commitment of developing football in India. Hello and welcome to this very special presentation as we bring you the best moments from the ISL Grassroots Festival. From the very start, the league organizers had made it clear that the clubs along with the ISL would get together to find and nurture new Indian talent. Keeping that in mind, the ISL Grassroots Selection Festivals was held in the month of April in eight cities. Almost 1,500 young players turned up at the eight venues for the trials. The children who turned up for the trials were divided into three groups based on their ages. The children completed three technical based drills followed by a position play drill and two small sided games. All this was conducted under the keen eye of Pete Ubers, the ISL Grassroots Technical Director. The best players from each centre were selected for the national selection camp. Our first stop in the Grassroots Festival was at Guwahati. My name is BP Sana. I brought 19 kids from Mizoram MFA Grassroots. I brought the kids having a great expectation from them to be a good footballer. Our grassroots program is the most integral part of our club. It's actually the stepping stone and the foundation on one which this philosophy that we've got inside the ISL and with this franchisee. This is towards the ambition of football uh, in our country, which is very important. Northeast United captured the imagination of football fans in the Northeast. The Northeast is famous for producing some of India's biggest footballing names. And it was no surprise when hundreds of children turned up for the trials. I think the grassroots program is very important. Not only because I'm working in it, but for the long term, grassroots is important for every sport. Whether it's football or cricket or whatever kind of sport. We have to build an infrastructure, create a foundation that everybody, at least in the ISL cities, must give the opportunity to play and train on a regular, in a regular basis the grassroots game. Pete Hubers and the coaches from the Northeast United side evaluated the performances of the kids who had turned up with starry dreams in their eyes. It was a fantastic opportunity for these young kids to take their first steps in football and the parents who accompanied the children were ecstatic with the festival. We do not get such kind of platform where you know, our kids can grow in their career. So um, I think this is the right platform and uh, thank to this club where our kids has got an opportunity to grow. Since my son is very interested in football, the right platform hey kids for their bright future. After a gruelling selection round, 25 children were selected from the Northeast for the Reliance Foundation's Young Champs program. To uh, identify the talents uh, in a technical way, we played a position play, uh, six against two or five against three. And the most important thing, of course, is to identify talents in the small-sided game. And we played four against four and we played uh, tournaments seven against seven. I wish the kids to be a good footballer and make India a great country of football. From one footballing hotbed, the ISL Grassroots program travelled to yet another. Next up was the FC Goa Grassroots Festival. And there too, hundreds of young children turned up for the trials. After a statewide hunt, FC Goa shortlisted a couple of hundred children 
for the grassroots program. Gavin Araujo, who is an AFCA licensed coach, was the man helming Goa's grassroots program. We always keep on doing festivals in Goa and uh, I think we're always uh, gearing up for better and better festival and this was a better one. We in Goa, we used, used to do it to introduce uh, children to football. They enjoy as well as they have a nice time with the children and in this case, if, if they're not introduced to football, they think football is fun and that's how they start taking football seriously. So actually, grassroots festival meaning is introduction to football. The quality on display was outstanding and the coaches imparted some valuable footballing tips to the children. I feel that uh, ISL had done a great job. They can hand forth, uh, tell their things or in practically show on the ground when they are taught at this age. As they are playing, they are trying to look at the other players also how other players are playing and they are trying to imitate their skills if it is better than their skill. Coach has taught me a lot of things. How can we play a lot of things? कैसे हमको अपने प्लेयर पर विश्वास रखना चाहिए, उसे कैसे पास करना चाहिए। When we started playing football, we didn't have these facilities. We started playing at the age of 12, 13, and we started to know the basics around 13 and 14. That's not good enough. You need to start playing at around six, seven, where you know the things, the technicalities, and then you start into building into a future stars. And I'm sure, like not just one, we're going to unearth many, many talents. After grueling rounds of selection, 14 lucky kids were shortlisted for the Reliance Foundation's Young Champs program. From sunny Goa, the ISL grassroots bandwagon then reached Chennai. Like in Goa, the Chennai team had done extensive trials across the state and shortlisted around 200 children for the final rounds. The club conducted over 50 workshops to spot the brightest young talent. The Blues also tied up with various non-profit organizations to ensure that no talent was missed. At the final phase, the kids were put through a rigorous routine by the coaches and P-tubers. My advice is always to the kids that they must keep trying improving themselves by playing football almost every day. Not only uh, in the club uh, or at school, but also at home. And what I, and what I tell them also is that uh, when they play a game, they must always have respect for their opponents, for their teammates, for the referee, for the coach for the parents, everybody who is involved in, uh, in the game. That's the, the, yeah, those are the most important messages I give to you. The clubs are extremely committed to the program. Uh, if you take our example, uh, we've reached out to about 12,000 children in the last uh, three months itself. So if you see throughout the year, the numbers are going to be fairly large. Uh, the kind of response we have seen from the schools, from the kids, from the coaches, we are also now more encouraged to uh, do even more. Uh, which means, you know, look at uh, more talent, build centers of excellence, build an academy eventually. So yes, you know, we are extremely committed. Chennai's love for the beautiful game was rekindled when the ISL came to town. The team produced some breathtaking football during the course of the league. And the young kids from all parts of Tamil Nadu were ecstatic as they picked up some valuable footballing insights at the festival. I am aiming for going uh, into a league match as a club or, uh, or even going out of country and um, my parents have also supported me a lot and this is just the start of it and if I'm doing it right away then it would be amazing. It was very nice and it was conducted very good and there was uh, nice uh, coaches who trained as well and we learned new skills to do. How to keep? Keep in the post and uh, kicking, toss kicking and throw a long ball that I learned. Today, it's not just study. It's also a very good way to grow up and grow up with the children and grow up with the children and grow up with the children and grow up with the children. I think this is a lifetime achievement for all the kids because uh, actually I am a veteran football player. Uh, we didn't have uh, such opportunity when we were young. 
and these kids are really uh, uh, we should thank chennai fc to take a such an initiative to bring all these kids here and doing it in a wonderful way i would uh, thank all the uh, promoters and the owner of chennai fc and as they say goal pod machi from chennai i uh, for uh, chennai fc and a uh, lot of parents are very happy about the arrangements every kid inspired to make the cut but finally 17 talented kids were selected for the reliance foundation's young champs program that was to be held in mumbai <laughs> After wrapping up the Chennai leg of the journey, the ISL Grassroots Festival reached the home of the ISL champions, Atletico de Kolkata. Kolkata is often dubbed as the mecca of Indian football. The city of joy has a deep and abiding love for the beautiful game, and there was an overwhelming response to the ISL Grassroots Festival in Kolkata. After many rounds of trial, the Kolkata club had shortlisted almost 200 kids to participate in the ISL Grassroots Festival. Selecting from the grassroots level, so it's obviously they will make it for their future and they will train them from their grassroots. They can train them. So it will help them. They it will help to make their career better career. It will motivate them to do what they want to do. The kids went through a number of drills under the watchful eyes of the coaches. It was an opportunity for them to hone their skills and pick up some crucial tips from the experienced and highly qualified coaches who conducted the sessions. এখানে এসে আমার খুবই ভালো লেগেছে এখানে অনেক ছোট ছোট বাচ্চারা হয়েছে তাদের সঙ্গে খেলে আমার খুবই মজা হয়েছে জানি না যে আমরা এই পাস করতে পারবো কি পারবো না কিন্তু তাও এখানে এসে আমার খুব ভালো লেগেছে यहाँ जो आके हम लोग देखे ये प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हैं बहुत अच्छा है बच्चे के लिए तो बहुत अच्छा है बहुत आगे जा सकते हैं बच्चे लोग अगर इस लेवल में अगर और भी अगर अच्छा करेगा तो और भी बच्चे लोग आगे जा सकते आज मैंने कैरी सीखा यहाँ पर और फिर पाँव घुमा कर ऐसे वाला वो भी सीखा और यहाँ पर बहुत ही कुछ सीखा कोलकाता हैज प्रोड्यूस सम ऑफ इंडियन फुटबॉल बिगेस्ट लीग्स and here the coaches were looking to unearth the next superstar of indian football the order is potential uh, but um, what is very important and that's the main task in india is uh, creating a good football infrastructure so that talents have the opportunity to play every day guided with a good coach um, in a good league and not only for the best but for everybody who wants to play football The grassroots festival gave the perfect platform to these budding footballers, and after many rounds, the coaches shortlisted a whopping 70 kids for the Reliance Foundation's Young Champs program. Time now to head into a short breather. On the other side, we bring you the best moments from the grassroots festival held in Kochi, Pune, Mumbai, and Delhi. Stay tuned. Welcome back. to a special presentation ISL Grassroots Before the break we saw the tremendous response that the Grassroots Festival got in the cities of Guwahati, Goa, Kolkata and Chennai Now we travel to Mumbai to find out how the maximum city reacted to this unique initiative Mumbai discovered a new love for football during the inaugural season of the Hero Indian Super League Mumbai City FC also did their bit to pay back for the love and the passion Mumbai was one of the first teams to kick start their grassroots program they had a unique approach of first coaching the coaches before the kids and they control with the inside of the foot or with the outside of the foot with an army of trained coaches Mumbai spread the net far and wide in a bid to find the best young talent. Um we looked at when we first initially sat down talking about an ISL football team. We looked at our city, the city of Mumbai. We put a cast a net over the entire city. We looked at the institutions, we looked at football being played in the school level, football being playing at the smaller academy levels. We looked at who's playing out on the streets and the various five side pitches around and we kind of realized that there isn't a, a unity. Now Mumbai City FC can be that unity. What we've decided to do is focus heavily on the grassroots. One to build our fan base. Two, 
to start noticing the different levels of talent in our city, three, identifying that talent and nurturing it over the course of the years that are to come. After numerous trials, Mumbai City shortlisted around 200 kids for the Grassroots Festival. The coaches put the kids through some intense coaching drills in a bid to spot the best. I think it opens, like as we can see, like cricket sort of has bloomed into such a mega event. I hope football, which is a much shorter version, version than T20, <laughs> would, would be actually a good sport. And, and I think it's a more of a team sport and therefore having more and more kids involved would definitely make it a... At, at the school level, at the junior level, would allow the sports to be more popular. Kids who love football, you know, with them it's a passion, so if they get any more encouragement and support for practices, I think it's a great thing. Because I haven't seen this before, I haven't seen this happening before in India, so... For the kids, it was a welcome opportunity to hone their skills and work on various areas of their game. I learned various skills like uh, scissor, trap, uh, uh, inside foot trap, outside foot trap, etc. What did the coach tell you? When we were playing, uh, my coach tell to when uh, when we have we when we have the ball, we have to communicate, and when we don't have, we have to come together and mark the other players. It was really good. I learned new skills. I learned how to um, do a step over, like step overs faster. I learned how to um, do hook hooks, and um, I I learned how to do 360s better. Yeah, very helpful, and um, very it's, a, it's an amazing experience to play for them and be a part be 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 a part for the selections. Like I'm very happy. The ISL Grassroots Programme is a brilliant initiative for the kids to find the right path in their footballing career. Mumbai City finally selected 20 talented children for the first rounds that would be held in Mumbai itself. From Mumbai, it was time to travel to one of the bastions of Indian football. Grassroots Festival now reached the football mad city of Kochi. Kochi's passion was there for all to see during the first season of the Indian Super League. Kerala has a long and rich footballing heritage and it was no wonder that thousands of kids took part in the Kerala Blasters Grassroots Programme. Helmed by former Irish international Terry Phelan, the Blasters had already set up a robust program. Thousands of kids had applied. Finally, 225 young footballers were shortlisted for the festival. It was a great learning opportunity for the football crazy young footballers as they were put through the paces by experienced coaches. This is obviously a great opportunity. Um, this is the Kerala Football League and my son is so excited to be part of the team. And of course when he gets into the team, he can good, get good training and that's what we are always looking for. My kid is very much interested in football and I think this is well organized, well equipped and all the facilities are provided for the young kids to come up the, for future football. And we are very grateful to Kerala Blasters for arranging such a beautiful thing in Trichur itself. Camps will really help the kids to come up in their football future because uh, I think they are providing all sorts of facilities for children, especially the ground. The ground is well maintained and especially Carabao Blasters is taking very much interest in promoting the children's welfare in football. Nowadays, uh, children are getting more and engagement in uh, this field and uh, even I am an ex-athlete also. My son is very interested to play football because uh, now we are getting very People are very interested in football, that's why. Right. The numerous drills were conducted to narrow down the best footballers who would then be shortlisted for the finals to be held in Mumbai. 24 rising youngsters were selected for the prestigious Reliance Foundation's Young Champs program. Yeah. 
after the successful Kerala leg of the journey, it was now time to move to Pune. Yeah! FC Pune City was also quick off the blocks in their grassroots campaign. The players were also present at the festival to boost the kids and also get a first-hand taste of talent on display. These are very nice talented kids, a lot of kids playing football. It's very nice to see so many people, even with their parents, they're doing good. Let's see how many of them get selected from our team. This is a very, very good uh, step forward, uh, under my point of view, uh, for supporting this sport in, in India. This is a good moment because of the importance of ISL Champions League. In the recent years, football has seen a huge surge of popularity in Pune. Hundreds of youngsters turned up for the festival that was held in April. More than 200 kids were put through the paces by the coaches. Yeah, there were a lot of kids, uh, at least 200 plus, from uh, FC Pune City FC, but also from uh, some NGOs. Um, yeah, the level is um, the levels were very different today. Some very good players, but also players who didn't couldn't play very well yet. But that's not a problem because it's a grassroots festival, and grassroots football is for everybody. But um, yes, we saw again some nice uh, some nice players who can uh, be invited for the training camp. For the kids and the parents, the Grassroots Festival is the perfect platform to hone their footballing skills. A number of kids caught the eye with their talent. But finally, 15 lucky kids got the nod from the coaches to make the journey to Mumbai in May. Now, it was time for the final stop. It was time to head to New Delhi. Football is one of the most popular sports among the younger generation in the capital. That bond was further cemented during the inaugural Indian Super League. Del Piero did take it quickly and here's the response. What a start to the match. It's a magnificent goal. Keeper makes two saves. Mazzoli score. Into the net. Delhi have got four. Delhi had already launched the Junior Dynamos campaign in 2014. And now it was time to take that initiative to the next level. The Delhi Dynamos conducted an open trial days ahead of the Grassroots Festival. Almost 2,000 children from all across northern India came for the open trials. I, uh trained a lot and I uh, got to know uh, more about football and I improved my game. As they provided us with, as they gave us a chance to make a, uh, become a footballer. After having checked out the young talent across the country, the coaches had a fair idea of the level of talent. Everybody is very enthusiastic about football and that's a very important starting point. Because if you're not enthusiastic, you're not motivated, you won't learn to play football. That's the main thing to start with and I saw so many enthusiasm all around India in the ISL cities that that gave me a very good feeling and um, even it was a very tough uh, tour these uh, last couple of days, uh, it gives me a lot of energy. I was very happy, I didn't expect that there will be a lot of children to play and they are so talented. So, I was very happy to see all these things and I was very happy to see that the future of the football is showing me a lot. 200 kids were shortlisted from the open trial and they got an opportunity to take part in the ISL Grassroots Festival that had some of the top coaches searching for India's next big footballing sensation. For the youngsters, it was a golden opportunity to pick up new tricks and iron out their flaws. Finally, 15 talented kids were selected for the Reliance Foundation's Young Champs program. The ISL Grassroots Festival was a resounding success across the country. The festival was well attended at every centre and the footballing talent on display had everyone impressed.
thousands of budding footballers signed up for the unique and laudable initiative that gave a never before opportunity to young footballers. After travelling the length and breadth of India, the grassroots programme finally selected 200 talented kids for the Reliance Foundation's Young Champs programme. In our first day, we had a four-a-side training game uh, where I scored three goals and I think I did very well. The pitches were amazing. They were made of artificial graphs, turf, which, were, which was amazing to play in. And the first day, everyone adapted very well to the surroundings and uh, we felt very comfortable with all our peers. The 200 lucky ones get a chance to be in Mumbai for the grand finale. It's a great pleasure for all of us to be standing here in the Young, uh, young Champs Reliance Foundation's ground and we love to play football and we got selected in this camp. On the other side of this quick breather, we get you all the action from the final rounds that were held in Mumbai. Stay with us, we will be back in a moment. A dream that had taken shape months back with the launch of the ISL Grassroots Programme was finally taking shape. After travelling the length and breadth of the country, 200 budding young footballers had been selected for the Reliance Foundation Young Champs Camp in Mumbai. training meaning. Everyone must watch each other. Where is he going to move? And what do I do then to make the triangles again uh, happening? And this afternoon we had some um, meetings in the auditorium for each age group. And Mark Fasen, the head coach from the Reliance Foundation Young Champs program, he informed them about um, a personal development plan. I sincerely thank uh, Reliance, you know, for taking up such a beautiful initiative and uh, hope the best talent comes up. Great future for Indian football. The young footballers landed in Mumbai with a burning desire to impress the coaches and make the final shortlist. The coaches are well trained and the coaches to look after us very, really well. And the coaching is also really good. They teach us new things and they also help us to implement it while we're playing the game. You see now with the kids is uh, that they are settled in, they feel comfortable on the pitch and uh, the level increases. So um, yeah, what we saw is that every match, every uh, play we did on the, on the pitch was increasing the level, so it was very good. The experience was very good. It was like I became a professional player. They treated me so good. The coaches are excellent. They are like my inspiration. All the coaches, not only one, all. They trained me very well and I want to continue this training and I hope I get selected for ISL. It's a great pleasure for all of us to be standing here in the Young, uh, young Champs Reliance Foundation's ground and we love to play football and we hope that we got selected in this camp. But before the final list, there was a week-long high-intensity selection camp that would be watched over by some of the top coaches in the world, including Mark Vesson, who was the head coach of the program. 
I planned uh, tonight a, a tournament, 7 vs 7. Uh, this morning we practiced uh, the 7 vs uh, 7. Uh, with a lot of coaching moments, but tonight they have a tournament so they can play and do it for themselves. The kids are very happy, proud and enthusiastic to be part of this great initiative by the Reliance Foundation. Competition was often uh, easy, but now here I feel that competition is very tough, so I got to work hard. That's very exciting, of course, for me in a new uh, culture, new land, uh, to see India and uh, see how football is uh, lived by the people. And also exciting for the uh, guys to be on the pitch this evening uh, for the first time. And this morning we had a session with the with the coaches, it was very well, so uh, I'm excited. The kids were divided into various age groups and were put through the paces. There were seven aside matches held and the kids gave it their all in a bid to catch the eye of the coaches. adapted very well to the surroundings and uh, we felt very comfortable with all our peers. The pitches were amazing. They were made of artificial grass, turf, which, were, which was amazing to play in. Everyone was really happy because we played in a turf ground which is not exactly really grass but turf. And the coaches are really nice, uh, they all, they're really good at coaching and you know, everyone was really happy, no one was sad after the training. We got a little tired, but then it was, it was also really fun. The coaches assess the players on the basis of ball control, passing, positional play and shooting. And the kids were ecstatic with the opportunity. या के फैसिलिटी बहुत ही अच्छा है या के कोच भी बहुत अच्छे से समझाता है बहुत अच्छा प्रैक्टिस किया ISL had always promised the best facilities and here it was living up to that. The kids were even shown video footage of how they performed in the matches to help them learn from their mistakes and make further improvements in their game. Last couple of days we have selected um, 40 players on a provisional list in the three age categories based on their age but also about positions because we need balance in the team that will be um, selected finally. Um, those players are, um, they played yesterday some, uh, some matches against each other and based on that we made a, let's say a first squad and a second squad for ourselves, we didn't announce it yet because today they are going for a bone density test because of course we want to check first that uh, everybody's uh, having the right age uh, and after that we will make the final selection to, uh, to announce on the 27th. What was most heartening was the progress being made by the young footballers in just a matter of days. There was a marked improvement in the way the kids played from day one. Having been given high quality tips by experienced coaches, the kids were putting into practice and the results were there for all to see. But gradually, the best were making a move ahead from the rest. With just days to go for the mega event, the coaches started the process of shortlisting the brightest young players who would be selected for the Young Champs program. 
On day five, 15 kids each from three batches were shortlisted and were taken to train separately. The chosen few were made to participate in seven-a-side games, while the rest of the kids played 11-a-side matches. As the camp neared its conclusion ahead of the big day, the coaches took the kids through video clippings of their games to show them what they were doing right and the areas they needed to work on. Day one, I was a little nervous about oh, what should I do then. Oh, I started getting comfortable with the area and uh, I learned many new things from the coaches and they treated us like professional and uh, I'll be taking home some great memories with me. Sports is something uh, which not only gets physical fitness but it gets a mental fitness also to the, uh, to the kids. So everybody should encourage their kids, whichever sport that they want to be in, not necessarily that, okay, what sport uh, the parents want them to be. It's uh, the kid, like, let him pick like, the game that he wants to play and let him, uh, we, should, we should encourage uh, kids to play. Yes, this was the last um, activity for this week. Uh, we started with a tournament on uh, Tuesday evening, four against four with, uh, in the end, one individual winner. And we ended with it also today. Um, and it's very challenging for the kids because they play every match in another team with other teammates against other opponents. And everybody can score individual points. And in the end, one person will be the winner, one will be number two, and one will be, no will be number three. So for the kids, it's very challenging and uh, they liked it very much. And what you saw, uh, I heard it from several people uh, who are watching that, um, kids improved a lot. When you saw the tournament on Tuesday and you see the tournament today, you can see that they really play football. They learned a lot, I think, in this week with those good coaches. You saw them play the position play much better than they did uh, on, uh, on, Wednesday, on uh, Tuesday. Uh, and I think their skills improved a lot in this week. Trained twice a day, had some theory sessions, uh, had some good remarks for the coaches, so I think they had a wonderful time and learned a lot. The big day was upon us. So who would be the lucky kids who would win the coveted Reliance Foundation Young Champs Scholarship? We find out on the other side of this quick breather. You don't want to miss this. After months of preparation, the big day finally arrived. Our 24 young champs, here they come. The names of 24 talented footballers who would receive the Reliance Foundation Young Champs Scholarship was about to be revealed. Selected youngsters would receive the best football training under highly qualified coaches. Not just that, the budding footballers would also receive quality education at the Reliance Foundation School. The event was attended by some of the biggest names from the world of sports and entertainment. Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis also praised the occasion. The grassroots program has been an integral part of the Hero Indian Super League. From the very onset, the clubs and the league had made a commitment to identifying and nurturing new talent in the country. And this was the culmination of the long cherished dream. Last year, we saw the birth of the Indian Super League. The response to the first season of ISL was record-breaking. When we launched the ISL, we had committed ourselves to developing football at the grassroots level, for we believe that for the holistic development of our children, they need to enjoy both education and sports. I'm happy to say that in the first year itself, our grassroots program has reached out to over five black young footballers. Okay. 
across the city, across the country, from big cities to small towns, and pick the best young talents. Of the 24 selected kids, five were from the under 14 category, seven were from the under 13 category, while the rest were from the under 12 category. Neeta Ambani, Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis, and Bollywood icon Amitabh Bachchan handed over the scholarships to the talented youngsters. Bollywood legend Amitabh Bachchan, who was spotted at a number of ISL matches, also promised all help to take football to new heights in the country. This has been an extraordinary experience for all of us. And how wonderful of you to think about uh, football, about sport. I remember uh, Abhishek and me were at the FIFA World Cup in Brazil this year and we happened to meet the chairman of FIFA and the first thing he asked us is that you are 1.25 billion people and you can't produce 11 players of football. It was quite a shocker and I'm sure that you must have uh, faced some of these similar questions in your visits to various parts of the world where football is played and I'm sure that that has been the reason why today we are all gathered here and this wonderful initiative that you have inaugurated. I wish you all the very best, Nitaji. I also want to say that uh, if ever you require me or my services to propagate this wonderful initiative, I am there for you and for this foundation at any point of time. This is the best that I've seen anywhere in the world. May we ever prosper and may we ever make India proud, just as you have with this initiative. Thank you so much. The kids then played a thrilling game of football, showcasing their skill and talent. Little young champs, it was such an exciting match. It was as exciting as any international match. And we could witness their talent. I'm sure the seeds which are being sown by Reliance Foundation to reap and one day, as uh, Amitji has expressed his wish, that Amitji will meet the FIFA president and will proudly tell him, look, I have a team of 11 players and my team can also be a world champion. Thank you, thank you very much. Now, none of these would have been possible without the clubs having their own grassroots program, their outreach program. And they are the ones who are feeding all this young talent into the system, which you're seeing here. But we want them to keep doing this work and keep giving us more new talent. Therefore, the award, a little bit of incentive, never hurt anybody. We have the runners up and, of course, the winners of the Brest grassroots program. The runners-up get a cheque of 75 lakh rupees to help them with their future grassroots programs. Yes, a big award for them. And the runners-up are the Delhi Dynamos. And now for the winner, a trophy and a check of 1.25 crores. All I will say is the winner is sitting in that front row. <laughs> Mumbai City FC, the best grassroots initiator program. We have Ranbir Kapoor collecting the award, the trophy and a check of 1.25 crores. ISL Grassroots program kicked off with thousands of budding footballers attending trials and football camps conducted by the eight clubs. From then, 
200 of the most talented and skillful youngsters were selected and invited to Mumbai for week-long trials overseen by Pete Hubers and Marcus Vassen. After numerous drills and football matches, the coaches finally selected the 24 kids. From here on, the kids will be groomed by some of the best coaches in the world. The world is at the feet of these young champs. And here's hoping that these kids take Indian football to new heights in the years to come.